Finally, let us look at question 10. Part A. Define the term relative atomic mass. So this is just simple definition. Relative atomic mass is the average mass of one atom of an element as compared to 1 over 12, the mass of a 12 carbon atom. Next, part B. Not all atoms of nitrogen are identical. All nitrogen atoms have the same chemical properties, but they can have different masses. So part 1. What name is given to different atoms of the same element? This should be isotope. So part B, explain why different atoms of nitrogen can have different masses but have the same chemical properties. So this question is actually talking about the isotopes. So isotopes of nitrogen have the same number of protons and electrons but different numbers of neutrons which results in the different masses that we observe. However, since the isotopes have the same number of protons and electrons, they have the same electronic configuration and thus same chemical properties. So as you, as you should know by now, the chemical properties of atoms are actually, actually comes from the electrons. Hence, even though isotopes have different masses, they still have the same chemical properties because they have the same number of electrons. Next, let's look at part C. Draw a diagram to show the electronic structure of nitrogen atom. So nitrogen atom is a group 5 element with 7 electrons. 7 electrons would mean that 2 electrons will go to the first shell and the remaining 5 electrons should go to the second shell which is also the valence shell for nitrogen. So here you have the structure for nitrogen atom and do not forget your legend as well. Let us now look at part D. Nitrogen combines with hydrogen to form ammonia. In this question, the chemical equation for the reaction has been given to us. So part 1. Calculate the mass of ammonia that can be formed from 56 grams of nitrogen. So given 56 grams of nitrogen gas, we can actually find the number of moles of nitrogen. So the molar mass of nitrogen gas would be 2 times 14, which gives us 28 gram per mole. So with the molar mass of nitrogen gas, we can find the number of moles of nitrogen gas. So given 56 grams of nitrogen and the molar mass being 28, this gives us 2 moles because number of moles is equal to the mass over the molar mass. So, using mole ratio, we can actually find the number of moles of ammonia gas. So, mole ratio and uh, nitrogen gas is to uh, ammonia gas would be 1 is to 2. As you can see from the chemical equation, it will be 1 is to 2. So, given that nitrogen gas is 2 moles, this would give us 4 moles of ammonia gas. And to find the mass of ammonia gas, we will need the molar mass and the number of moles. So the molar mass for, for ammonia gas would be 14 plus 3 times 1. So 14 would belong to nitrogen and 3 times 1 would be the 3 hydrogen. So this gives us 17 gram per mole for ammonia gas. So this would be the molar mass for nitrogen. So now that we have both the number of moles and the molar mass of ammonia gas, the mass of ammonia gas would thus be 4 times 17, which gives us 68 grams. So the final answer would be 68 grams of ammonia gas. Moving on to part 2, calculate the volume of that this mass of ammonia has at room temperature and pressure. So if we refer to the top, right, they actually give us the volume of one mole of any gas is 24 dm cube at room temperature and pressure. So now, from, from part one, we actually know that the number of moles of ammonia gas is 4 mole. So the formula for the volume of Volume of ammonia gas would be the number of moles times 24 dm cube. So this would give us 4 moles times 24 dm cube, which would give us 96 dm cube. Hence, the volume of, 
volume of ammonia gas at room temperature and pressure would be 96 cm cubed. Let us now look at the marks allocation for question 10. 10 part A is a definition question and it is worth 2 marks. Therefore, you will have to get the full correct definition in order to get the full 2 marks. For part B, part 1, it is 1 mark. So isotope itself is worth 1 mark. For B, part 2, it is worth 2 marks. So the first mark will go to the definition of isotope, which is the same number of protons and electrons, but different number of neutrons which results in different masses. You must link to the point where it results in different masses. So that will be one mark. So the second mark will go to the talking about the same number of protons and electrons, giving the same electronic configuration and thus same chemical properties. So you must link to the electron, electronic configuration and chemical properties. For part C, Part C, it's one mark for the structure of nitrogen, so you have to get the full structure correct together with your legend. For part D, part 1, two marks is given. So the first mark will be given to finding the number of moles of nitrogen gas, which is two moles in this case. And the second mark will be given to the final answer, which is the mass of ammonia gas, 68 grams in this case. For D, part 2, two marks as well. So the first mark will be given for your working and the second mark will be given for correct answer. So this is the marks allocation for question 10. Thank you everyone and study hard for your O-levels.